Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday. It's February 19th. Um, this is going to be your second reading of the day. We're going to do the Celtic Cross for this one. Don't forget to check out Astrodipity. They are um, an online dating site that uses synastry to align compatible partners, but they're more than a dating site. You can also find a lot of um, astrological information as it pertains to you. You can check that link out in my bio and um, it's free for new subscribers for the month of February. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, Angel Saint, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. All right, for the collective, current situation. Okay, challenge for the collective. Okay, need to focus. This keeps coming out in the same position, I believe. Okay, past energy. Strength. I got two. Okay, um, near future. We have advice. Whoops. Dropped one. Um, the environment. Hopes and fears. Potential outcome. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> so the first card out. What's in the environment? You are putting in the work. People can see that you are working very hard. You are mastering a skill. You are being very diligent in what you're creating, okay? The challenge is transformation, being patient, knowing that things are transforming and shifting. And transformation can be difficult because it, it's a huge shift. It's a change, okay? So it's navigating through the transformation in your life. You need to focus on... Um, being in your full power, you know, protecting your energy, going, taking charge, going after what you want, you know, being your own boss, being in control of your own life. Um, past energy, Ace of Cups, you started loving yourself. You started vibrating in the energy of love. Your strength, your cutoff game is amazing. Your strength is you can walk away from any person, place, or thing that is not aligned and going after what you're passionate about. You have the strength and courage to go after what what you feel called to go after, okay? In the environment, sorry, near future, celebration. You're gonna be celebrating in the near future. Advice, take your power back. Queen of Wands, go after what you're passionate about. Set those boundaries and go after it. All right, um, environment, the chariot. People can see that you're headed toward victory, that you're spiritually guided, it's spiritually led, and you will have victory. Hopes and fears, you want things to transform quickly, but your fear is that you will move too fast, that you you don't want to take any hasty action, but um, it is a hope that things will pick up quickly. The possible outcome, a new investment. Page of Pentacles, learning something new, investing in something new. Bottom of the deck, slow and steady wins the race. You know, you get what you deserve because you're committed and devoted. All right, so let's clarify with the AE weight deck. Okay, current situation, we have you diligently working. Eight of Pentacles, current situation. Hermit, yeah, staying private, going within for answers, protecting your energy. You, very, you have a lot of wisdom, and so you know what you're doing. Uh, the challenge, death. Going through a transformation, and not seeing all the answers, not having all the answers, but trusting in your intuition, allowing, you know, your spiritual connection, your intuition to guide you through a situation that may be unclear for you. You don't see how everything is going to unfold, but you just trust. Okay. Past position. Yeah. You embrace this love energy and you went through a lot of stress and anxiety, sleepless nights. You learned to love yourself, although it was very stressful. Um, Let's see, what you need to focus on, Emperor, being in your power. Being in your full power is going to put you in the Queen of Pentacles energy, more grounded, stable, and financially secure. 
your strength, your cutoff game. You can walk away from anything and follow what you're passionate about. That's a strength. Yeah. So I got two as the clarifiers. Five of swords to the empress. Those that oppose you that want to win at all costs, you're unbothered because you are too high vibrational. You're the empress energy. You have the ability to manifest and create anything that you desire because you're that high vibrational. All right, so near future, we have three of cups, celebration, near future, happiness, joy, success, awesome, um, advice, queen of wands, go after what you're passionate about, that is going to create a shift very quickly, now we have the knight of swords twice, which is very significant, it's saying there is definitely something happening quickly in your life. All right, um, environment, we have the chariot, people in the environment can see that you're headed toward victory. And that you've healed. You have healed. All right, hopes and fears, nine of swords, things moving too quickly is the fear. The hope is that things will change quickly. <laughs> That's the truth. So this is a gift and blessing from God. What's coming in quick is truth, clarity, a new beginning that leads to victory. Um, pos potential outcome, page of pentacles. You investing in something new, page of pentacles. Uh, potential outcome. The lovers based on a choice you make a choice yeah and this is good news for you you're committing to a new beginning a new investment you're going to take that leap although you don't see everything that will happen or how it will unfold but you have enough clarity to know that it is aligned for you okay yeah you know, whoever has been trying to create chaos and conflict in your energy, it's because they're a love bomber and you're not interested in their offer and they know it. This is someone that keeps trying to pull at your energy and you're not interested. Yeah, you've already made that judgment call. You've made that decision. Yeah, you're not going to accept less than what you deserve, less than equal. Yeah. Yeah. So this player is just upset because they know they made the wrong decision. They made the wrong choice. They went down the wrong path. Now, this is a cold, detached masculine now trying to have strength because you're gone. You're out. You're leaving. You know where you're headed and you're happy. Yeah, you're headed towards your wishes. Nine of Cups, multiple wishes coming true. And this is what you've manifested. You're headed toward the life you manifested. God's guiding you. You know, and this person can, continuing to try to pull in your energy is imbalanced and going through a huge tower. And you're speaking your truth and cutting this person out. Justice is coming in. Those scales of justice are being balanced in your favor. Just stay focused on what you're creating, what you're manifesting. Stay in a high vibration and don't look back. You know, if you're someone that wants a toxic masculine from your past back, this is not your reading. Definitely not because you're being guided toward new, new people, places or things. Okay. Um, let me do the romance oracle since this keeps coming out for the collective. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice do you have for the collective? Okay, balance. Love is not always about green just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So, and then we got a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Wow, somebody is gonna come into your life and restore balance in your energy. And this is someone that is already calling on an energetic level. This is a twin flame or soulmate. It doesn't have to be the twin flame. But there's going to be a huge shift here. If you are single, they're saying this person is already in your energy. And this person is destined to come into your life. So that's beautiful. All right. I think we will. Let me just do the cancer and then we'll end this reading. For the collective, near future for the collective, near future for the collective, please, near future. 
I said, stop overthinking and take care of your mind, body, and spirit. Continue to step, sorry, continue to set boundaries with past energies and step out of your comfort zone. Do something that's scary because you're going to love it. <laughs> Do more of what you love. Keep it simple. Abundance, happiness, and success are on its way to you. And it's one step at a time. So it takes time. Be patient. Yeah, just relax. You're not going to miss anything. For the collective. Let go of needing to know all the answers. You're meant to learn from the past so that you can guide other souls. And I do see a new home. For those of you that are manifesting a new home, I definitely see a new home. And now I'm getting a timeline of a few weeks to a few months. Um, your intuition is guiding you toward a huge shift that's coming. Okay, what is this huge shift? <laughs> shift. It says fast results breaking the cycle. And it's okay to change direction, which could indicate a physical move um, or a life-altering change in some way. 11-11 on my timer. It's something you manifested. A few weeks to a few months, this is going to occur. Or months from now. Sorry, it didn't say a few months. So within 2024. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's tied to your creativity. For some of you, this is a career change. Wow. So, all right, guys. I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.